What's going on? R Savage here back with another RuneScape video and I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today I'm bringing you a guide on my daily shop runs in RuneScape. And if you aren't familiar with daily shop runs, this basically means that you buy items for cheaper at the shops around RuneScape and you can sell them for more at the Grand Exchange. And this is how I basically afford my bond and get my RuneScape membership. So before we get into the video, make sure you guys consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video because we're almost at 300 subscribers and each and every one of you do help a lot to the channel. But now let's get into the video. Alright guys, I'm in Lumbridge right now and you can see I have some teleports on my action bar to help me out with my daily shop runs so I don't have to remember exactly where all of them are. I just have an action bar right here to help me out a little bit. And you can also use my mini map in the bottom right for reference. So you can see right now I am in Lumbridge and the lowest zone is right here. The first place we're going to head over to is the fishing shop right here. So most of these shop runs are basically buying feathers from these fishing shops. And the other method I do is going to the herb lore shops and buying some of those vials of water. So right now we're going to buy the feather packs and the feathers and that's all we're going to get from the fishing shop. So now after my lumbridge, I head over to Taverly. And remember guys, this is very quick. If you also don't have the quick teleports, you can use Vizwax and uh, turn it in to get the quick teleports. So now also remember, maybe have a mobile switch if you guys have that perk and you have invention unlock. That'll help you a lot getting around the map and making this quicker as well as bladed dive. And if you have double surge, obviously that'll make it quicker. So now we're in Taverly. Lodestone is right here in the bottom right of my mini map, you can see. And we're heading over to this herb lore guy who sells the vials of water. You can see right here, there's 40 of them. So we're going to buy those as well as the bomb vials. And you can also buy these uh, vials of water and bank them. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip that so we can be a lot quicker. So now we're going to head over to our doin. And we're going to head to the next fishing shop. So you are going to need a required fishing level. I'll put that up on screen right now. And there are some other requirements I will be putting up on screen uh, once we get to them. But just follow where I'm going right here. And this is another fishing shop. You can trade at this guy right here and get some more feathers. And I also did start with a cash stack of two mil. So I will show you guys how much I make after I sell them. So after you guys buy the packs of feathers and the other feathers... You're going to head over to Port Serum. And this one is very nice because you can see the feather shop is right here. It's very close to the lodestone. So just come in here, buy the feather packs. And you can do this very quickly. You can hit escape. And now we're going to go to Al Karid. So the only requirement so far was that Ardoin one. The other ones, I'm pretty sure you don't need any requirement for. But eventually, once we get over to Draenor Village, as well as the Fremnic Trials, and the Metaphos, you will need some quest requirements. So keep that in mind before you guys do those. So now we're just in Alcrid right now. We're going to trade this guy right here and get some more feathers. They're down here and right here. So we got those. Now we're headed over to the Draenor village. And you can see how quick these teleports are with the Bizwax. So I do recommend you guys get that. It does cost some money to do it, but I think it's definitely worth it. So once you go to Draenor Village, you head over here and there is a quest requirement to unlock the shop. I will also put that up on screen right now, but just follow where I'm going. Go into the dungeon castle, I think this is. I'm not sure. It's like a haunted place. But you got to go through that door and then click on this, um, this thing right here. It's like a secret room and then you can trade Ava right here and you can get some more feathers. So we just bought all those and now we're headed over to the Fremnic Providence and once again, this has another quest requirement. I know I didn't usually do all of these in, until I got the quest done, obviously. So you can probably still do the uh, non-requirement ones and make a good amount of money every day. And I know as well, there are some magic shops that you can buy runes from and make money from that. But I prefer not to do those because it is a lot of work going to every shop. It definitely doesn't take too much time, but it will, uh, it will be some work to do. So now we're going to come over and trade one of these guys. I'm not, uh, this guy right here. So this guy has the vials of water. It looks like they're not restocked. I also wanted to go over the feathers restock daily, but I'm pretty sure these vials of water take a week to restock. So keep that in mind as well. But there also should be a guy who sells feathers here. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. I haven't been here in a while. You guys can see it should be this guy, obviously, the fish guy. Here we go, the feathers. 
so we're gonna buy that so remember it is the fish guy right here and then the other guy i got the stuff from was uh no not the fur guy i'm sorry <laughs> everyone's moving around right here so this is the other guy who sells the vials of water so this guy the merchant over here is the vials of water and then this fish guy is the feathers and we are at the Fremenic Providence or province right there. You can see that. So now we're headed over to Menaphos. And this one actually kind of has two quest requirements. So I will put those up on screen once again. You need a quest to ha enter Menaphos. And then you need another quest to head over here to the dungeon over here. And I'm also going to head back to Menaphos to show you another feather shop. But this feather shop is a little bit different because it's not the feathers you use for fishing. And this one does cost a little bit more money to buy, you'll see. I'm not even sure if I'll have enough for it, but we're going to buy all 1.5 mil. So actually, we're only going to buy, let's say, 500 of them just for now. We don't have enough money to buy all of them. But if you guys did have money, I'd obviously have more money. I just wanted to make sure you guys could see my profit after I did start at 2 mil. So we're heading back over here to get the feather shop. To make us a little bit more money and this hasn't taken us long so far it's only been around five minutes and 30 seconds and we probably already made 200k i believe but now we're gonna go over to this guy and buy these and these and that basically wraps it up for my shop runs i know there's obviously a lot more ways uh, probably more feather shops as well that i miss out on i just prefer to go to the ones kind of close to the teleports and now i'm going to sell everything and show you guys the value Actually, right before I ended that clip, I did remember there's one more place you can go. If you guys have Periftinus unlocked, I do have the Attuned Crystal Teleport Seed. You can head over here, and there is another Herblore shop you can see right here. So this is another place you can buy the vials of water and sell them. And the vials of water, I believe, are more money than the feathers. So if you guys do have this, I would definitely recommend... Uh, oops, I did not mean to do that uh is it this is the right lady right open shop there we go that was weird all right so we're gonna buy these and remember you can buy these as well but obviously it'll fill your inventory and the these bomb vials right here are definitely worth buying as well so we're gonna buy those now we're gonna go and sell them and i will be back shortly all right guys everything is sold and you wouldn't believe it i actually made around 800k from just that that's actually insane considering i didn't do too many shop runs at all and I made 800,000 from doing it. And remember the vials of water you can't do every day, but the feathers you can do every day. And those should add up to around 300k, I believe, depending on which ones that you have. You can probably get at least 200k if you don't have the required quest to do all these. Maybe just do the Lumbridge, the Taverly, uh, even the Ardoin one does have a fishing level. Uh, so just be aware of that. But 800k is definitely very nice for a short amount of time that it takes to do these. And I would definitely recommend this if you guys are struggling to afford a bond every month. That's how I've been basically doing it. I just do the shop runs and it helps me afford the bond every month. But that's going to be it for this video. Once again, please consider subscribing. We're almost at 300 subscribers. And it would mean the world to me if you guys hit that like button as well. But that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.